Uh, I'm sure that uh, you'll both be relieved to have reached the end of the road, but tell me what it's been like uh, and, and what you've been raising money for. Um, we've been raising money for Alzheimer's Society and um, it's been hard with the rain, but we've got here anyways. And where did you set off from and how far have you walked? Um, it's Edinburgh to Cresswell, which is where we are now. Um, how far is it? We, go, we try and do between 20 miles a day. That's the mission. We, we just do our, our way, 20 miles a day, and then we stop. And then Melanie and Rebecca pick up somewhere and take her to the lodge. And that's how we did it this year, because normally we start adding it to go to Air Sunderland, but with cost of living it got got a bit much. So, and Ellie's cricket's doing so well that she's ended up gigging all over the country. So um, we thought we could still raise the same amount of money if we did it here, because at least we tried. So how many years have you been doing this particular walk then? Um, since I was about seven or eight, so about... It's 15 now. Yeah. And does it get uh, easier or does it get harder? It's gotten easier. It is, it is it's easier because we can, we can walk at a pace now. Ellie was just pointing out how many times we'd have to stop when she was little and, uh, and it was a lot but it didn't matter obviously but um, now we can, we can go from three to four mile an hour whenever we need to but a lot of it is we take our time, look what we want to look at and Ellie likes to read through all the messages because we get hundreds of messages, like private messages and then there's lots of comments and Ellie reads them all through. Yes, I was going to ask you, what's the support been like from... Uh, it's always from... good. It's always good. Very but, grateful for it. But these days there's lots of cricket um, people, because I spend time writing the cricket diary in the summer now. It means that I'm always around cricket people, So, and it's good because they're my favourite people. And, and what do you like most about doing these charity events? Together. Yeah, and just knowing that you're making a difference. and. You give people happiness and hope just by doing something and it does hurt sometimes, it hurts right now but we'll be better tomorrow and that's the thing, it's never too hard because what people go through is worse always than what we're going through and we'll know that. Like the rain, 21 mile in the rain, we couldn't even hear each other speak with the, with the wind and then the cars, we couldn't get on the paths because of the, the floods, with some of it was knee deep but, but you just, just do it and it's fine. And what's your, what's your next uh, charity event? There's a one in Worcestershire, and I'm walking for 24 hours on the 21st of um, December. December, which I do on the shortest day of the year, and it's for the um, British Heart Foundation. And then we're doing another one of these next year for uh, Parkinson's. Kelly's picked that on the way. And I've got lots of other things that I do, so if anybody out there needs us to help with charity, then just message as, as usual, and I'll make sure that we do something for it. Okay, congratulations. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you.